Okay, I'm going to attempt to do all of Unit 1, Grade 10 Math, in 20 minutes. Let's see if we can do it, okay? Unit 1 um, has two chapters, Linear Systems, Analytic Geometry. Okay, Chapter 1, let's do that first. First of all, what's a linear system? A linear system is two or more linear equations we consider at the same time. Okay, so we have two lines, we're considering them at the same time. One, two, two lines, okay? What does it mean to solve a linear system? That means to find out the coordinates of this point of intersection. How do we do that? Either substitution or elimination. Let's go over both of them. Okay. First of all, substitution. Here's the steps. Pause the video now. Read them over. Okay. I'm going to reference them while I do the question. Um, substitution. What we do. We have two equations. I want to find their point of intersection. How I do that? First of all, I isolate one of the variables. Isolate the variable that has a 1 in front of it. That makes it the easiest, less fractions. Okay. So I'm going to isolate the x in equation 1. And if I do that, move the x to the other side to make it positive. Um, move the 5 to the other side to make sure x is by itself. I get x equals 2y minus 5. What I do now, so I know x equals 2y minus 5. Plug that in for x into the other equation. Okay, but make sure you plug it into the other one. Okay, so I isolated x in equation 1. Plug what I solved for x into equation 2. Okay, after I've done that, so I get 7 equals 3y minus 2. I know x is equal to 2y minus 5. Okay, now I have an equation with one variable. I can solve that. I remember my distributive property, so I know when I put this negative 2 into the brackets, I get negative 4y plus 10. Okay, 7 equals um, negative y plus 10. I want to move that y to the other side so it's positive. Okay, so I get y, move the 7 to the other side, 10 minus 7 is 3. I know y equals 3. Okay, so I now know what y equals. Well, what's x equal to? Well, I can figure that out. I have two equations that could tell me. So if I, I plug that 3 back into either equation for y, it'll tell me what that, what x equals. Okay. Um, so I know, what is that, a 5 at the top? 5 equals 2y minus x. So 5 equals 2y. I know y is 3 minus x. Solve this. Um, move x to the other side, make it positive. Move 5 to the other side, 6 minus 5. That's equal to 1. So I know x equals 1 y equals 3, I have my point of intersection, those two lines will intersect at the point 1, 3. A point is an x, y coordinate, make sure you do x, y, 1, 3. Good, so that's substitution. Let's remember elimination. <coughs> okay, hopefully you remember what we know about equivalent linear equations and linear systems. Okay, if you don't, um, go back and refresh in your notes. But basically what we're allowed to do, we're allowed to add and subtract linear equations. Okay, um, that'll help us find our solutions. And we're also allowed to multiply a linear equation um, by a constant. The, That'll, that'll keep the uh, linear equations equivalent. That's fine. Okay, it just allows us to eliminate a variable. Okay, I have two equations here, two linear equations. I know I'm allowed to add or subtract them. Okay, um, that doesn't alter my results at all. Okay, so if I subtract these equations, I have them stacked on top of each other nicely here to make it easy. I'm going to add and subtract the like terms. Uh, sorry, I'm going to subtract the like terms. You're allowed to add or subtract. Okay, in this case, I'm going to subtract so the y's will eliminate. You'll see how that works. 5x minus 3x is 2x. 2y minus 2y is 0y. Y's are gone. Negative 11 minus negative 9. Negative 11 plus 9 is um, negative 2. Okay? Negative 11 minus negative 9 is negative 2. Good. Isolate the x, divide the 2 to the other side. x equals negative 1. I know what x equals. I can now plug that into either equation, and it'll tell me what y is equal to. Let's plug it into the first one. 5 times negative 1 plus 2y equals negative 11. Negative 5 plus 2y equals negative 11, 2y equals negative 6, y equals negative 3. Okay, so I now know y equals negative 3. Okay, so I plug negative 1 back in, negative 5, 2y, um, added negative 6, negative 3. Awesome, okay, now what I'm going to do, um, plug that negative 3 back into, um, oh actually I'm sorry, I'm done, I have my x and my y. Oh, I almost wasted some valuable time there. Okay, I have my x and my y. Um, my point of intersection is negative 1, negative 3. Ooh, we're flying through these questions. Okay, so I now know where those two lines intersect. Let's try one where nothing eliminates easily, okay? You'll notice if I add or subtract these two equations, nothing will eliminate, okay? The x's won't eliminate, the y's won't eliminate, but if I multiply the second equation by 2, I'm allowed to do that. That gives me an equivalent linear equation. That's fine. 16x, just make sure you remember to multiply everything in that equation by 2. Okay? Minus 4y. Uh, 4y equals 14. Every number is multiplied by 2 in that equation. I can leave my first one the same. You'll see y in a second, plus 4y 
equals negative 1. Now you'll notice if I add these two equations, um, these y's will eliminate. 4y plus negative 4y is 0y. Okay? So 10x plus 16x, 26x. The y is eliminated. Negative 1 plus 14 is 13. Isolate the x. 13 over 26 is a half. Okay? Plug that a half in for x into either equation, either one. I'll put it into the first one for x, and it'll tell us what y is equal to. So 10 times a half is 5, plus 4y equals negative 1. Um, isolate the y, so I'm going to get 4y equals negative 6. And then divide by 4, I get negative 3 halves is my y value. Okay, when I put it into lowest terms, negative 6 over 4 is negative 3 over 2. I now have my point of intersection. My point of intersection of the two lines is 1 over 2, negative 3 over 2. Okay, hopefully you can tell that this is a 2. That's a 2. There's a nicer 2. Okay, there's one point of intersection, the next y coordinate. Perfect. Okay, let's see what a word equation looks like for um, linear systems. Okay, so if I'm given a bunch of these sentences here, um, I can make a linear system out of what's given to me, and I can solve the linear system using substitution or elimination, whatever I feel more comfortable with. Okay, um, so read the question, a store sells CDs and DVDs. Right off the bat, it told me what my two variables are. Everything, all the equations we work with are going to have two variables. Um, I'll make x my CDs, and I'll make y the DVDs. Okay? So always know what your variables are. Okay? CDs sell for $9 each, DVDs for 11 each. Um, Cody sold $204 worth of CDs and DVDs. So I know 9x plus 11y equals 204. I also know um, that he sold 20 items. Okay? He sold 20, so CDs plus DVDs. Must equal 20. Um, how many CDs um, did Cody sell? How many DVDs did he sell? I can figure that out. I can solve for X and Y um, if I solve this linear system. I could use substitution by isolating one of the variables here nice and easily, then subbing it into the other equation. Um, I'm going to practice elimination, though. Okay. So if I multiply this bottom equation by 9, I'll be able to eliminate the X's if I subtract them. So I'm going to multiply every term in this equation by 9. Um, that'll turn to a 180. Okay. Um, now if I subtract these equations, I get 0x plus 2y equals 24. Okay. 0x plus 2y equals 24. If I isolate my y, I get my y equal to 12. Okay. So I now only sold 12 DVDs. If I want to figure out how many CDs he sold, plug it back into one of my original equations. I know x plus y equals 20. I know he sold 20 items. I know y equals 12. So if y equals 12, bring the 12 to the other side, subtract it, 20 minus 12 is 8. Okay? So I know that he sold 8 CDs, 12 DVDs, write me a nice sentence, and I can give you full marks for that question. Perfect.